What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Mike. We have some more Star Wars toys we need to rescue from these shoddy boxes. Um, if you guys watched the other parts of this series, um, I had a, we bought a Star Wars lot from a big box and uh, there was a ton of toys in there that were completely soaked. So all the cardboard boxes are pretty much damaged. So we're gonna, we're gonna free the figures out of there and uh, move them in some, uh, Lucy collection, so we have some loose figures. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and save these Star Wars figures. So we'll check out and I'll show you guys what we got. Um, we'll just start down here with these guys. We'll open up uh, this uh, Jedi Force file, this uh, Scout Trooper. So I've never, oh, here, I'll show you guys these. I have never opened up any of these. Um, it says they're from the, uh, I mean, Power of the Jedi. I've never, ha I've never had any of these. All, all the Star Wars toys I've ever opened were from um, Attack of the Clones or the Clone Wars stuff. So, you know, it's pretty sick. And is that Plo Koon with a green lightsaber? It's actually funny because over here I uh, found me a Black Series Plo Koon. So I had to pick that up, found that in the wild. So, but yeah, let's finish open this. But this is what the back of the box looks like for Series 1. Um, some pretty sick figures like that. Qui-Gon Jinn looks kind of nuts looking. So, yeah, just all over the place with uh, all over the timeline for Star Wars. So, we'll, we'll finish freeing this trooper real quick. Um, I'm not going to break this video up. We're just going to open up all of them because uh, I have a lot of other things I need to do tonight. So, um, oh my gosh, dude, the cardboard box is not cooperating. It's like super stuck. There we go. I'll just go ahead and free this. I don't know what the hell this is. I've never, never seen these before. Vital statistics. Species human height. I'm sure that's 1.8 meters. Homeworld unknown. Printed in China. Scout trooper. I'll let you guys read that and then. Is it just a whole book or something? Oh. Wow. Has a whole stat list. That's kind of rad. And then what is this? Fill out below. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, pretty sick. I don't, yeah, like I said, never had, uh, never had this oak this toy before. Sorry, a toy like this. None of the, I don't think any of the Clone Wars toys had that type of stuff in there. So, and I know the uh, new vintage collection toys kind of are all the rage right now um, for Star Wars figures. Um, so I have to make a pile right there. But there we go, there's our Scout Trooper. And then, we get this little thing out here. His uh, little pea shooter blaster, there we go. Scout Troopers are cool. They're probably like one of my favorite uh, trooper outfits. Um, articulation is what it is for the time, actually, doesn't been too bad, man, for a 20-year-old toy that's never been opened before. Oh, the arms are stiff. Oh, my God. Oh, I hear shit flying. <laughs> here we go. All right, let's see if we can slap this blaster in his hand here, guys. Uh oh I might need to pull this bad boy closer to me. There we go. Ba-bam. We lock it and load it, bro. Give me all your money. Cool. All right. Let's see if we can. I don't think there's a way in hell we're standing him up. Oh my God, he's standing up over there. Okay. All right. This box, Bespin Guard, is completely shattered. It's from Collection Two, is what it said. So, huh? I don't see any difference here on this one compared to the last one. But uh, we gonna open this package anyway. 
try to be a little faster with this guy. Alright, we'll pull that out. No need to open that. I think if you see them in one, you see all of them. Um, 10 Hasbro points. You guys seen that? God, this cardboard is ancient. See, this cardboard is just exploding as I pull it apart. Toys might have a life now. Uh, letting them breathe this. Uh... Oh, god. oh my god, he just freaking flew out of there. I got shit all over my desk now. Ugh. Oh my gosh, guys, if you guys could see this junk everywhere, there's just pieces of cardboard. Just gonna swipe that. That's my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff over there. If you guys watch my channel, you guys know I'm kind of into a lot of shit. Um, okay. This guy's kind of interesting. Um, this hand looks like it turns, though. Like, whoa. So that's kind of sick, actually. Um, this blaster does come out, it looks like, and it comes with a hat. But can he wear the hat? He can wear the hat. That's kind of nuts. Kind of nuts for a toy this this old. I'll try to get off the rest of these real quick. He's got a damn baton here or a knife. It looks like that's no, totally a baton, right? He's a guard, so we can pop that bad boy in there. Roll flip. Get his uh damn handcuffs out. We'll be good to go. Oh God, just. Remind me to bring scissors over here because now it's hard plastic sick. Okay. And then there we go. His his uh, fuzzy handcuffs. We'll keep him right there. So he's ready to go. Give up the money, stormtrooper. You're going down. Uh, don't think these uh, cuffs will be able to attach to many things. So, all right. It's two figures. We're already seven minutes in the video. Great job, guys. All right, moving on. Thank God these Ewoks are in the nicest looking box. And then on the back here, we have a, a nice cutout that we can do. Longer in the Ewoks. Stand amazed. Their newfound idol. Protocol droid C-3PO. I'm not going to read the rest. But uh, those that's some sick. Any any toy that has like the big creatures are pretty awesome. And then uh, there you go for that. Open this bad boy up real quick. We're not gonna cut out the damn Ewok scene. I've seen the movie a million times. We're not gonna cut out that thing in the back there. We'll just kind of let that fade into oblivion. It's literally the movie scene. That's pretty cool. So, literally the movie scene is in there. So, I don't have a bright light to shine through it for you guys, but it's there. Gosh, these boxes have dirt all over, all over my hands. All right. I got them for a good price, though. I'll say that. I didn't spend a, a, a ton of money on these things. They were relatively cheap. It was probably close to maybe like a dollar a box, I want to say. So... It was worth it, even for this nastiness. I've never had an Ewok figure before. I'm trying to even think. I even have I had a cousin that we played a lot of Star Wars figures with because he had a he had like a ton of the um, ton of those figures. So, but bam, can't remember which one that is already. Ewok one. Let me get this going real quick. Dang weapons are so sticky from just sitting in there for 20 years. So there you go. You gotta be a little bit more menacing there. You are, yeah. Oh my god, it's so sticky. So freaking sticky. It's gross. Alright. 
This is some Shadows of the Empire. It's like a book or something. We'll just look at this one. The Power of the Force. Han Solo. Um, interesting figures there. But, uh, the box. This box isn't as bad. This is probably like one of the better looking boxes. Um, some of these other ones are just bent all the shit. So. We'll open up. We'll open up this one. Get rid of these boxes. Again, all these boxes have some form of water damage, even if the box looks nice. The boxes were soaked. And I mean, just the inside looks rough anyway. So, I figure some collector isn't going to want to be like, you know what, I'll take that Han Solo from you real quick that's in the box that's fading and disgusting. No, they want a sealed Han Solo. They're going to want a good looking sealed Han Solo. Unless you're watching this video and you're like, no, man, that's crazy. I can't believe you opened that. Well, let me know. Not super, just kind of got into figure collecting. You know, you gotta have your Han Solo freaking Ruger right there. Your, or Mauser, I'm sorry. Such a badass gun, dude. Get on. It's so sticky, it's gross. I'm gonna show war damn gloves when I open these things. Yeah, the guns are all sticky and everything. It's terrible. The tape on this shit is garbage. There you go. Han Solo means some fucking business. I'm taking your droids and your credits. Give them up. Alright. Moving on. This dude has a stand, thank God. This is the, the fan's choice number five. Uh, don't know what year this is. No clue. No clue. Not a single clue. Uh, 2004. 20 years ago. I think this is one of the newer, newer toys. This pack. This box is completely shredded. If some collector out there is like, oh my god, man, how could you do this? The boxes are garbage, I'm telling you. I apologize, but the boxes. Probably one of my favorite toys now because it's got a freaking stand. So if you guys did not know, this is the uh, the dude who's getting freaking choked out by Darth Vader. So kind of sick. Oh, this dude's got that weird shit growing on top of his hand. So I, if you guys watch my other videos. The toys that I got from these boxes have like this weird gunky stuff growing on their hands. Don't know what it is, but it's like, oh god, it's kind of like a loose skin is what it reminds me of. So fucking gross. And it got all over the place when I did an opening. Alright. 13 minutes in the video, I'm ruining my, my mat here. Um, this one's not a bad, not a bad one either. Um, it's got some cool ass figures like this is Django Fett on Camino's dope as shit. So. Oh, God. Right. Snow Trooper. Makes me want to play some uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Alright. Try to set them up for you guys. 
gonna put his gun back in his hand so he can uh, finish killing some rebels on Hoth. For some reason, I feel like I had this guy when I was a kid, or a friend did. I don't know. Alright, let's set up his damn gun. And we'll, oh, shit. Alright, not gonna lie, this thing is badass. It did come with instructions, but I'm not reading them. I'm pretending I'm doing this and I'm in elementary school again. So we ain't reading nothing. We simply just putting it together. And look at that. My adult brain did it. I didn't have to call my mom in here to help me put it together. Sick. All right. really dope how do we fire this fucking thing oh there it is right there you just push that and it all oh, holy shit that actually had some I'm not gonna lie that was actually pretty powerful 20 year old spring and it's clear across the room now great all right there's that so kind of dope Back over here with all the other figures. That's probably, hands down, this is probably one of the best figures. Oh, and he got a backpack. I forgot I got to put the backpack on. Boom, my boy has a backpack. Cool. Yep, hands down, probably the best figure we've opened so far. The Ewoks are kind of dope too, I guess. But just come any type of accessory like this dude has a heavy cannon bro that's just sick all right um we'll open up this shit last but we'll open up r3 t7 from the uh oh sick bro we got we got zam so cool if i find me a django fit and a clone trooper we'll have this whole little setup from attack of the clones Never had this one. Never, never had this figure. Huh. And it's just such a simple figure, bro. It's literally a boy who's getting electrocuted. Like, what? What better? I also want to know what fucking kid is asking their mom or dad. Like, mom, for my birthday, I want to get this droid toy. Like, I don't, there's no way these things sold well. There's no way. Because I wouldn't, I, I would be like, absolutely not. Thank you for getting it for me as a gift on my birthday. But, like, just a background character droid. Not even R2. Me having being harsh to the droid. R3 F R37? R3 T7. R3 T7. I apologize, R3. Alright. Okay. Uh dude, I don't know what the fuck these are. These were in there. These are probably pretty stinking new. Um, again, they were just in that big box. For some reason, I feel like I've seen these at Target as early as a year ago. 2004. Unless that's just the copyright stamp. Don't know. Let's open it up to get it out of my fucking house. I've had these in here for a couple months now. I'm just sick and tired of the boxes just being everywhere. And I just could not figure out what I wanted to do with it. So I was like, you know what? No one's going to want to trade or buy these because of how effed up these boxes are. I literally got them in a steal, so just make them loose, man, and enjoy them later. I don't know 
what the hell this is. So there we go. Got that. We'll just two yeah, two thousand four. Damn, maybe this is from two thousand four. Twenty years ago. This crazy ass little jaw we're hanging out. I think that's just the stand, so the Jawa stands, sort of tall. Here's this, I have no fucking clue what that is. And then, I don't know what, I, the Jawa was standing on top of this. Is this literally just a box for him to stand on? If so, why would they tape it? I'm more disappointed that it was just a box. Let's see what the hell this is. What is this, bro? Ugh. Dude, the stickiness is really what arcs, arcs me. Everything is so sticky, bro. Alright, here we go. Sneak preview. Revenge of the Sith. Sneak preview, y'all. Oh, oh, snap a do. I don't know what the hell for uh, sneak preview that is. Okay. Did these even come out? I'd love to know. Oh, they got some Clone Wars ones? Okay. StarWarsHasbro.com Does it still... Okay, so hold up, hold up. That General Grievous is kind of dope. Ah, Super Soaker Wookie Water Blaster. That's a mouthful. Hmm. Right on. All right, last toy, and then we'll be done. And I can throw all this shit away. Okay, Shadows of the Empire. Luke Skywalker in Imperial Guard disguise is kind of cool. Dash Rendar is that a, that's the Mandalorian guy from. Uh, actually, I have no freaking idea. Chewbacca and Bounty Hunter disguise. And then, this is the, I will say this, out of all the toy stores that I've seen, I've seen this guy's toy a lot. Um, but I don't know shit about Shadow of the Empire. I don't know nothing. Alright, I have no, no emotional ties to... Shadow of the Empire. No, I I, it's definitely not a movie, obviously. It's like a uh, book or something. Book or comic book, I have no idea. Prince Zandahar with the uh, God sticky ass shield here. Oh. I think they're supposed to. They almost look way better, way cooler stuck together so they almost should have made the shields just stuck together would have been cool there we go prince zandhar with his again you want a toy maybe this dude does something crazy in the books maybe maybe if you freaking blast this thing and i have no idea if these guys would even be fighting right no clue but maybe you shoot it think blast back i mean you can just see how sticky that is right there it's gross maybe he shoots it he could deflect it back kind of like the gungan thing shoots him back kills him whatever that looks like um maybe this thing blocks a lightsaber no clue no freaking clue but all right i'm gonna clean up all this mess now because i have junk everywhere uh hands down best freaking toy that we've gotten so far 
uh, and all this stuff. Super sick. And again, you know, this Stormtrooper is probably my favorite toy. Uh, Ewoks are probably a close second. So don't even know what the hell I'm going to do with these guys. But yeah, all right. If you guys enjoyed, please uh, go ahead and smash that like button. You know, your support's so greatly appreciated in all things that I do with YouTube. Uh, Might have overlooked that, but uh, I could probably put this guy somewhere because it's on a stand. So might do that in my office or something. But all right, guys, if you guys enjoyed, again, smash the like button. Support so greatly appreciated. We'll see you guys in the next one.